It's one hot day. Glad to be back in the lab. Professor Pipette here, ready to have fun with science. I've been out in the hot sun all day today. Anytime you're hot from the sun, you're experiencing a transfer of energy. Today, we're learning about different types of energy. Energy transfers occur all around us. The main types of energy are light, heat, and sound. We'll also discuss the transfers that involve electric energy. In order to observe these transfers, we'll be looking at different examples to help us understand. Have you ever tried to eat ice cream in the sun on a very hot day? Today we're going to pretend this heat lamp is the sun. What do you think will happen when we put a popsicle under the sun? The temperature of the ice cream cone changes because the light from the sun heats up the ice cream, causing it to melt. This is an example of how light energy is able to be transferred into heat energy. Next, we'll speak a little bit more about sound energy and how sound waves move. Sound energy is produced when a force causes an object or substance to vibrate. The energy from the vibration is then transferred into sound waves. Clapping your hands produces sound energy that's carried out through the air. The last type of energy we're discussing today is electricity. Reflect on a time when you've seen lightning or experienced static electricity by feeling shock. Your body is always gradually building up an electric charge. When electrons move, they carry electrical energy from one place to another. This is called an electric current. Let's look at a demonstration of a circuit. This teacher represents a battery. The students represent the wires in a circuit. The balls represent electrons inside the circuit. Circuits are full of electrons. As long as the circle remains intact and the electrons continue to flow, their circuit is closed. Think about this in relation to a light bulb. In a circuit, electrons flow from the battery, through the wires, and into the light bulb. When the bulb receives enough of these electrons, it will light up. In the case of a light bulb, we are transferring electricity into light energy. According to the law of conservation, the total amount of energy in the universe remains constant. It cannot be destroyed, but it can be transferred. Energy transfers constantly occurring around us. We rely on these transfers to live and to have fun. Speaking of fun, I had a great time with you today. Come back soon for some more science excitement. <laughs>